And uh, for a second question is, how did you get the name of Wheat Sea Studios? Well, see, you live in Kansas, right? And you got all your fucking fields of wheat that just go on fucking forever like a fucking ocean. So that's uh, the Wheat Sea. So I'm going to Wheat Ocean. So. Great. Um, what inspired you to make the studio? Well, I needed a place to work. I didn't have some other people that I wanted to move all the time. I some places to work, so I thought I'd go with this so that they have that. Very sweet of you. Do you have any artists and can you name them? I have some, but I can't talk about it. You can talk a lot of the I hear one of them has a really ugly profile. Oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Okay. okay. Um, what digital audio workstation do you use and how, are, how, have they, how has it or they worked for you? Well, in the past, we've used Acid and Ignite, which have been so pretty good, but we're going to start to for it with the Ableton to get a better, you know, more unified way of making music here. Okay. If you, if you open up the studio for the, for the public, how much will you charge per hour for people to use your workstation? It would be about fifteen dollars an hour, which is a lot cheaper than the standard studio. Um, what is the standard pay for regular studio? Uh, usually somewhere around fifteen to sixty dollars for a cheap one. But... And what's the most expensive one? Uh, they can range up to five hundred dollars an hour. So. Okay. Um, and finally, this isn't a question related to your studio, but it's related directly towards you. Uh, um, do do. Yeah. Do you or uh, Lonely Cuba in the future have any content plans? Yes, I have an album for them right now. It's going by the name of Pizza. And it could be out sometime this fall. We'll talk about the same thing. Well, I thank you for your time. And, uh, but you can let me have a little tour of this again. Yeah.